Hi, my name is Greg Pelliot. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Voidboard Roofing. On uh, today's episode, we're going to talk about why you should never install a TPO over an existing gravel built-up roof. Um, so maybe you have a gravel built-up roof, someone's giving you a quote, yeah, we'll just put this cheap board over top of it, put some TPO on it, and uh, keep it at that and move on. Um, so it's not a good idea because um, essentially that loose gravel over time it'll move by foot traffic by wind um, other weathering events and it'll essentially grind down that cover board um, which means it'll influence the slope of the roof and since you know the cover board and the TPO are flat you're going to have some low areas you're going to have some standing or ponding water and that water can freeze it can get on your seams um, it adds weight to your structure it's just never a good idea for water to be on your roof that when it was the roof system was designed to run that water off and once you're standing on there um, bad things happen reduce the, the lifetime of the tpo um, to get underneath like i said into the insulation and affect our value and all that stuff so it's just never a good idea to affect slope and that will happen if you have loose gravel that is just sitting underneath the cover board um, that'll essentially get grinded down and influence that um, so maybe you're asking why do building owners you know do this route at all um, well, it's cheaper. That's that's the reason why um, doing stuff the right way costs a little bit more. Um, so that's the big reason why. Um, another thing I wanted to add in real quick is if you do do the, the cheaper route um, and you do get that TPO roof on there with a warranty, that warranty might be voided. Um, you need to have, for the warranty to keep going, you need to have proper slope, proper slope, proper drainage. And when that doesn't happen, it could avoid that warranty. So keep that in mind. Uh, I forgot to add it in my notes here, but keep that in mind when you're talking with someone, if you're looking at getting that work done, you know, if the slope is influenced, does the warranty still stay intact? If something happens, um, I'd watch out for that. Um, but what should you do? What's the right way to do this? Um, you want to remove all the loose gravel off the roof. Um, what we do is it's a wet vacuuming process. Um, basically, it vacuums all the loose gravel off the roof, but also cleans the substrate behind it so that it's dry and it's clean, and it's ready to accept something else. Um, and that something else is spray polyurethane foam. Um, the loose gravel, because it's embedded in its loose rocks, it'll create like a, a real grainy substrate, surface on there. Hard to put something flat on there. So we'll spray foam it, which it'll rise to an inch to two inches in thickness, but it'll get inside all the little air gravel, because it's embedded in its loose rocks, it'll create like a, a real grainy substrate, surface on there. Hard to put something flat on there. So we'll spray foam it, which it'll rise to an inch to two inches in thickness, but it'll get inside all the little areas, all the little grainy areas, and then produce a flat uh, membrane up top. Uh, put a protective coating over top of that, and then you'll get a brand new warranty. Uh, but you don't want those loose gravel, that loose rocks on there, get them off of there. Wet vac vacuum it, foam it, coat it, um, and move on. So that's the right way to do it. Um, good quotes for both ways. Uh, compare scope of works, warranties, issues, problems. Do all that things, but I at least want to put it in your head that you know, just doing the cheapest route uh, might not be the best way. Um, hopefully you learned at least one thing new today. Uh, in the description, there's a link to the blog post with more detail. But um, like again, hope you learned at least one thing new today. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.